Welcome to the National Artist of Literature. Francisco Arcellana Arcellana already had ambitions of becoming a writer during his years in the elementary. He continued writing in various school papers at the University of Philippines Diliman. From 1956 to 1957, he received a Rockefeller granted and became a follower in creative writing the University of Loa and Breadloaf's Writers' Conference. He was considered an important progenitor of the modern Filipino short story in English. Arcellana pioneered the development of the short story as a lyrical prose poetic form within Filipino literature. On April 2, 1989, the University of Philippines confirmed upon Arcellana a doctorate in human letters honoris causa. Francisco Arcellana was proclaimed National Artist of the Philippines and Literature on 23, 1990 by former Philippine President Corazon C. Aquino. In 2009, or seven years after his death, his family came out with a book to pay tribute to National Artist for Literature Arcellana. The book, entitled France, is a collection of essays gathered by the Arcellana family from colleges, friends, students, and family members including fellow national artists Nick Joaquin, Butch Dalisay, Reca Trinidad, Jing Hidalgo, Hemino Abad, Romina Gonzalez, Edwin Cordifilia, Divina Aromin, Doreen Yu, Danton Remoto, Jose Esteban Arcellana, and others. Arcellana won second place in 1951 Don Carlos Palanca Memorial Awards for Literature with his short story, The Flowers of May. Fourteen of his short stories were also included in Jose Garcia Villa's honor roll from 1928 to 1939. His major achievements included the first award in art criticism from the Art Association of the Philippines in 1954 the Patubay ng Sining at Kalinangan Award from the City Government of Manila in 1981 and the Gawad Pambansang Alagad ni Balagtas for English Fiction from the Union ng Mga Manunalat sa Pilipino or UMPIL in 1988. The story entitled The Match talks about a typical Filipino family culture that portrays the close family relationship, respect for the elders, and remembering the family members who passed away. On the other hand, through a glance darkly compels prose works of national artist Francisco Arcellana, comprising columns written just after the Pacific War, introductions to books of fellow writers, commencement speeches, interviews with students, and papers delivered on the sidelines of a workshop, among others. Favorite Arcellana Stories is a centennial book of the University of the Philippines published, among others, in celebration of the institution's founding in 1908. It is a selection of some 29 Arcellana short stories. Next one is the famous NVM Gonzalez. Nestor Vicente Madali Gonzalez, or simply NVM Gonzalez, was born on September 8, 1915, in Romblon, Romblon, and moved to Mindoro at the age of five. Gonzalez helped his father by delivering meat door to door while he was attending in Indoro High School from 1927 to 1930. During his college years, he studied at the National University Manila but was unable to finish his undergraduate degree. While he was there, he was tasked to write for the Philippine Graphic and later edited for the Evening News Magazine and Manila Chronicle. 
His first published essay appeared in the Philippine Graphic and his first poem in Poetry in 1934. A Rocketfeller Foundation Fellowship awarded to Gonzales in 1948 which allowed him to travel to Stanford University in Palo Alto, California and Columbia University in New York City. On April 14, 1987, the University of the Philippines conferred on NVM Gonzalez the degree of Doctor of Human Letters Honoris Causa. In 1997, two years before his death, NVM Gonzalez proclaimed National Artist of the Philippines. Due to his kidney complications, he passed away on November 28, 1999 in Quezon City, Philippines at the age of 84. As a national artist, Gonzales was honored with a state funeral at the Libingan ng mga bayani. Among many recognitions, he won the first Commonwealth Literary Contest in 1940, received the Republic Cultural Heritage Award in 1960, and the Gawad CCP para sa Sining in 1990. The awards attest to his triumph in appropriating the English language to express, reflect, and shape Philippine culture and Philippine sensibility. He became UP's international writer in residence and a member of the Board of Advisor of the UP Creative Writing Center. The Winds of April describes the aspirations of the author from birth to young adulthood. It captures the hopes of a whole people on the verge of independence from U.S. But all the copies of the novels, along with hopes for a smooth transition to a national sovereignty, were destroyed during World War II. Next one is the novel A Season of Grace. This novel is presented with drama and poetry and it counters the myth of Philippines' lost native past and cultural weakness in the face of foreign dominance. The Bamboo Dancers is a historical novel published in 1959 by Bookmark and is one of a series titled Filipino Literary Classics. This novel follows the travels of an Americanized Filipino man and his struggles to embrace his own roots in rural culture.